you've probably already heard of Google AI Studio. This AI platform, supported by Gemini 2.0, brings so-called AI agents within reach. If you have a problem, the AI Studio is exactly the right partner. Instead of hiring expensive external consultants or doing lengthy research on the internet yourself, simply ask your questions to the AI agent as you would in a normal conversation. And the amazing thing is that it will help you perfectly. I'll show you how it works on the Google AI Studio website in a moment. Welcome back. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the topic. We'll be using the Google AI Studio platform. I've split the screen for this tutorial. On the right, you can see the Google application with the various functions. Feel free to try them out for yourself. In this video, however, we will focus on the stream real-time feature. Here you can see the Talk to Gemini button that is relevant for us. As you can see, I've activated the latest version 2.0 here. With this function, you can show Google, as you would do in a private conversation, where you have a problem, what you need, or how you would like to get assistance. On the left of the screen, you can see the AI platform, Kling AI, version 1.6. As you can see here, Kling users can choose from a wide range of functions. For this tutorial, I'm going to pretend I don't know anything about Kling and ask the Google AI Studio, the AI agent, if it can help me. To start the whole process, you need to keep a few things in mind. You can see two buttons at the bottom of the AI Studio dashboard, a microphone and a camera. You need the microphone so that the AI can understand you. And you also need to click on the camera icon so that the AI agent sees what you see. To start, I now click on the Talk to Gemini button. Hello? Hi, how can I help you today? I'm on the klingai.com website today. I don't know my way around at all, and I need your help. I would like to create a video. How does that work? Okay, to start, you will need to click on the AI Videos button, which is on the main page. Do you see that button? This one? Yes, that's the one. Okay, I clicked on it. Okay, now you have a few options like text to video, image to video, and lip sync. Which option are you interested in? I'll just see what functions are available here. Image to video, lip sync. I think I'll stick with image to video today. There I see the features frames, elements, and effects. What does this mean? Okay, so you have chosen image to video. Here are the meanings of the options you see. Frames refers to the overall structure and beginning and end points of your video. Elements are the different images that can be added and combined in your video. Does that make sense? I understand. Thanks for the explanation. Then I see a button here in the elements section called Get Inspirations. When I click on it, there are various options to choose from. Do you have any further information for me on what exactly that means? Sure. When you click on the Get Inspirations button, you get a prompt dictionary pop up with different options. It is separated into categories. The first category is lens, and this helps determine how the camera will move or stay still. The second category is shot type, and this determines how far away from the subject your camera will be. Then comes light and shadow. This will add different lighting effects. Then you have frame, which will change the richness or simplicity of your video background. Finally, you have atmosphere, which will add an emotional tone to your video. There are obviously also templates from Kling that you can use. If we close this pop-up and scroll further down, we can see various setting options here. Do you have any recommendations for me? What do you recommend? Yes, I understand. So you see different options under the settings section. Here you can choose between standard and professional mode. Professional mode provides richer details and superior quality, but it takes longer to generate the video. The duration can be set at five or 10 seconds. The aspect ratio changes how the video will be framed. What do you recommend? Should I choose 5 or 10 seconds, which is better for a video? For your first video, I recommend choosing 5 seconds. Then, you can create longer videos as you get comfortable using the tool. Okay, that sounds reasonable. 16 to 9 is a video output format that is normally used for YouTube, correct? Yes, 16 to 9 is a common format for YouTube videos. Okay, let's go back a little bit. Here is the effects mode. There you can create these funny figures. I'll stop here, but you can certainly see the possibilities. The nice AI agent from Google helped me a lot. Thank you very much for your help. 
You're welcome. It sounds like you had a good experience with the AI studio. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, thank you very much. I will definitely recommend it to others. It was fun. See you then. Ciao. You're very welcome. It sounds like you're happy with the tool and will recommend it. Have a good one. So now you've seen how I've used Google's AI Studio to help me use other software. It's even possible to just point at something with the cursor. The AI Studio can verify this and react accordingly. I have only tried this out on Kling AI. Think a little further. You can also get help with programs that are more in general use. For example, Excel, Word, or PowerPoint. You can also set up other technical things, but the platform is already a great help. Have fun trying it out. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know.